Hi, you're watching Center Stage, and I'm with Pankaj Das Ji uh, in one on one. Uh, Pankaj Ji, now I'd like to just find out a little bit about your childhood, since we are in an intimate <laughs> setting. <laughs> so, your childhood uh, growing up outside of Rajkot um, in a musical family, what was that like? Well, the uh, uh, most memorable part of my life is my childhood because yeah. uh, I think I, I grew up like, uh, like a very, very normal uh, child uh, because uh, things which I don't see these days. I grew up climbing up trees and I, <laughs> <laughs> I grew up uh, playing uh, you know, with uh, uh, Gilly Danda and you know, all those things, uh, cricket in the street and things yeah. like that. So, uh, I think it was great uh, because it was a lot of, uh, according to me, it's major education, you know, that, that part of childhood. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there was m so much of music in my house because I have two elder brothers, both are singers, Manaji and Nirmal. And then uh, my father himself was, used to play an instrument called Delruba. Uh, so, uh, though we are not a professional, we were not a professional musical family, but uh, I guess we uh, developed so much of interest uh, due to my father. And me being the youngest of the three brothers, I, I think I, for me, it was music all around me all the time. So I, I think uh, the biggest attraction in life, uh, because I personally feel that when a child uh, is at an age of say seven, eight, nine years old, uh, for a child, the biggest attraction is always food, mm -hmm. uh, and especially food, sweets and yeah. chocolates and <laughs> yeah. things like that. But in my case, it was different. In my case, my biggest attraction was the radio, oh. because in, in those days, we had radio. There was, there was no television. Mm -hmm. And my ears were also all, all the time on the radio because I would be looking for some songs which I liked. So I think uh, uh, the entire uh, journey started from that point yeah. uh, and uh, it continued all along. I sang through my school days, I sang through my college days and I'm still singing. Yes. <laughs> yes. And there's one performance in particular. It was during the Sino-Indian War that you had sang "Aye Mere yes. Vatan Ki Logo," that's right, um, yes. and really made an impact on the audience. Yes. Do you still remember how you felt during that? Oh performance? yes, I remember <laughs> it uh, vividly. There's a vivid memory of that that particular experience. I was uh, with my parents at, a, at at one of the Navratri functions in celebrations in Rajkot, and there was a huge crowd of five six thousand people there. And in those days. Uh, Lataji had sung this song which had become a, a song of the nation, Ay Mere Vatan Ke Logo. So I, um, I uh, heard this song first time on the radio and then I kept on hearing it and I took, wrote down the words and then I learned that song because I used to love that song and I still love that song. Yeah. So I sang this song in my school and it was uh, really received very well because everyone's emotions were, everyone was emotionally charged because of the China war. So, um, I guess one of the parents must have heard me singing in the school or whatever it is. So, at that Navratri function, that particular gentleman told everyone that uh, this young kid sings this song very well. So, why don't you uh, make him sing or why, why don't you ask him to sing? Yeah. So, they literally picked me up and put me on the stage. <laughs> and. Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, when you are so young, when you are when you are a child, you are generally fearless. So I just stood on the stage and oh, I sang the song. Oh, yeah. So when I finished uh, singing, uh, there was one gentleman. He was so moved. As I said, everyone was so emotionally charged. So he turned around and said that uh, I would like to uh, give uh, a prize. They used to call prize. <laughs> And so I like to give a prize of 51 rupees to this young kid. Yeah. And I remember that uh, I was given this money which I gave to my parents, no doubt. Oh. But I, I, it's not the money, but I, I can tell you one thing that I might have earned millions or whatever it is. Or, but those 51 rupees still, I think, was the largest amount for me because yes. I think that, was, that, that money was more precious than anything else. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I, I think uh, that appreciation, that uh, response from the audience. I think has left a deep uh, impact uh, on me, and I can uh, I can say very well say that uh, that was probably the beginning of my uh, molding into uh, this direction. Yeah. Mm. And you've also imparted your passion for music onto your two daughters. How are they involved in the music business? Well, my um, uh, I have two daughters. My elder daughter is uh, is she did her B.Com and then she did a course in mass communication and. Uh, 
she is basically very passionate about filmmaking, she is passionate about uh, television. So, she has her own company and she is doing her own uh, business uh, where she is doing events etcetera. In fact, this whole North American tour also is coordinated by her. Yeah. Wow. My younger daughter is uh, uh, educating, but she is multi talented. She paints, uh, she plays the piano. And uh, so, but I have not pushed her because I want that let her natural talent come out yeah. and let her pursue what she wants to pursue. Yes, if they have your genes, then they're all they're yeah. both multi talented, I'm yes, sure. Right. <laughs> On that note, we'll take another short break. Sure. Please join us after this. Mm -hmm.